Hi, welcome back to my Boot Sudan build, where today I'm going to be playing some grooves and cutting some tails. So, first of all, I need to plow a groove near the back of each of the four case components on the inside to hold the, uh, the back in place. I'm going to use a plow plane, so I've set up with a cutter of the right width. Now I'm just setting the fence to put the groove in the right place, and I've set my depth stop, as you can see, for about uh, 7 mil. Plugged in woodworkers might like to use a router with a guide fence, or in a router table, or perhaps a table saw with a dado blade. And here I'm just checking how accurate I was with setting the fence up. But to be honest, because I'm going to be using the same setting on every part, uh, the grooves will line up anyway. With a sample of the back fitting perfectly in the groove, I can go on to complete the other three components of the case. I'm pretty sure I managed to plough these grooves faster than if I tried to set up a router or a table saw and it was certainly a lot quieter and there was a lot less dust around. I'm going to join these two boards together in the corner with a mitered dovetail. So we're going to end up having uh, what looks like a mitre there, but that only extends back a little way and we've got dovetails for the rest of the joint. So first of all I want to set my marking gauge to the thickness of this board and mark it around this one. But we'll leave the edges where we're not going to be cutting. Of course this will be the tail board, so we'll be cutting away where the dovetails come through the back, but at the front it's going to be a mitre. So down this side I'll just do a light line. I designed the layout for my dovetails so that uh, the groove I put through the boards won't show through the side of the case. And I'm just marking it out, uh, marking out the tail board at the moment. Now I just square those marks across the end of the board and grab my dovetail marking gauge. Going for a slant of 1 in 8. Notice how the area to be mitred on the left hand side there is squared down rather than receiving a slope. You'll also see that I've transferred those marks round to the opposite side and in this case I've got a groove in there which falls exactly where one of the tails is. There's going to be a secondary top on here so we won't see where that comes through when the joint's put together. I can also mark in the mitre line. By clamping the two tail boards together, I can simply copy my cut from one to the other. Then it's a case of removing all the waste, or the bulk of the waste, uh, by sawing, and then cleaning up nicely with a sharp chisel.
And last but not least, sawing and cleaning up the mitre. Next time, laying out and cutting pins and gluing the case together. If you like my videos, please share them with friends and on social media and check out my supporters page.